Welcome back to Casual Bias Rugby. This is the official predicted lineup for the game between the Box and Romania. Um, of course, it's almost impossible predicting the unpredictable. Who's struck Nino Bogana back? I mean, obviously, uh, you would say South Africa heavy favourites to win this game. And that's why I'm going with a very much heavily rotated team. Let's get into it. As always, starting off with the front row, and I mean, of course, our boys did the job, but I think they need a break. I'm just switching it around. I've got Oxen Che, Pongi Manambi, and Trevor Niakani to, to start the game. I mean, they were absolutely brilliant when they came on against New Zealand. They were brilliant when they came on against Scotland. I think we want to give our main guys a rest. Uh, I would say our main guys, but I mean, these guys could just as well start. They'd start for any other country in the world. So, Orcs, Bongi, Trevor, to do us a job. Uh, if there's one thing that Romania did well in their game against Ireland, it was a decent scrum. Like, they didn't get pushed into the archives or something. So, I've got these boys to do us, do us a job. Uh, moving on to the locks, and I've got two changes, just for injury concerns, to be honest. Uh, I've got John Klein, if he's ready. Uh, to be in that number four jersey, um, of course, just to protect Eben, you don't want to play him in games like this. Uh, your biggest guys uh, or your biggest names, your biggest superstars, don't really want to play them in games like this where anything can happen. Uh, so I've got John Klein, he's been doing a job, he's been absolutely brilliant, probably deserves a start. Um, some would say uh, in that lock position uh, with Eben. And then in the five jersey, I've got a forgotten soul. I've got Marvin Ori. Of course, you had Sous there, um, Franco Mostert, but Marvin Ori does a job, plays against Romania, secure the lineup, driving mall, there you go. I mean, that will be his total job for the whole game. Um, give the likes of Ergis Neyman a rest, give uh, Franco Mostert a rest, give Ivan Ev a rest. Perfect. John Klein, Marvin Ori, they've played together before against Australia. Uh, they looked good to the, together. Anyway, moving on, you got the uh, the Lucys in that six, seven, and eight jersey. I'm giving Captain South Africa, Captain Rugby, Siak Lucy a rest, um, which means Bongi Manami is my captain. Um, in that six jersey, I've got Marco van Staden. Uh, he's been he was a bit quiet when he came onto the field against um, Scotland. To be fair, but. Yeah, I'm backing him to do a job against Romania. He'll have a field day at the Rocks there. Um, and then to complement him in that 7 and 8 jersey, I've got Quagge Smith and Dwayne Vermeulen. So Peter Steff the Toy, the man that runs himself into the ground, almost too stupid to know he's getting tired, um, needs a break, deserves a break. Uh, he was brilliant against New Zealand, uh, got a week off, played his, his heart out against Scotland. I don't think he got subbed. Um, so give him a well-deserved break. Quagge Smith... Just a pure workhorse. I've always said it, uh, and I really wished he was on the bench against Scotland. One of the first names on my team sheet, even though he goes straight to the bench. And then Dwayne Vermeulen. Um, well, he could be captain as well, now that, I, now that I think about it. But I mean, those three, those three to, to get us some, some penalties at rock time. Uh, you've got some experience there as well. Uh, give us per visa another break. He played brilliantly. Uh, just rotate them. Don't for me, Alan Jasper Visa, easy. Um, moving on to the back line. Um, and I've got some more wholesale changes. So I'm starting off with the change. I've got Kobus Reinach to start this game. Uh, if you just think about the previous World Cup, these are the games that Kobus Reinach absolutely just scores hat tricks. The guy just runs them wild. Uh, it's perfect for him. And then to compliment him in that number 10 jersey, I've got Moni Lebok again. Uh, I think this is the perfect game for those two just to. Test that backline. Test the moves that you want to do. Um, the Romanian defence were all over the place. Uh, you got to take the approach that you used against Scotland there at the start where we just tried to throw the ball out wide, throw it out wide, throw it out wide. We didn't necessarily get the points against Scotland, but this is where you practice your moves. Um, of course, it sounds disrespectful to Romania to say these things, but you got to have confidence in your boys. You, you can't struggle against teams like this. This is the, the point where you just throw around the ball see what you can get, practice your moves. Uh, and Moni Lebok is the general of the back line. So I've got him to start again. Um, moving on to the centers, two changes again. 
I've got Andre Estreisen, who's been absolutely brilliant, deserves a start. Uh, I still back this. He's got to have that the, that number 12 jersey, even though Damien De Linde was very good yesterday. Uh, I still want Andre Estreisen to have that jersey. And then at 13, I'm going with Kanan Moody. Now, uh, I know he had a little niggle um, for the previous game. Uh, I'm not too sure if he would have started anyway, to be honest. Uh, I think from the start, the, the choices was going to be Jason Colby and Kurt Lorenze. Both of them played brilliantly. Uh, but I've got Caden Moody in that 13 jersey. Uh, get him going again. Um, yeah, just get, get him some confidence. Because Jesse Creel could easily have been sent off in the previous game. I forgot to mention this. Uh, but that tackle was, in my opinion, a rugby collision. But... You never know with these guys. And I mean, if you had to be consistent, which is the one thing that I strive for when it comes to our beautiful game of rugby, uh, if Tom Curry was a red card, uh, Jesse Grill could have easily been off for a red card as well. Uh, and then the back three, I've got my pimps on the left. I've got Kurt Lawrence on the right and Vili Leroux at fullback. You know you can't play Cheslin Colby two games in a row. I love Colby. He's the best wing winger in the world. Uh, but... <laughs> As I said, the same with Yeoman. You don't want these guys, the, these guys, these guys getting getting hurt or injured in a game that should be walkover victory by fifty points uh, for you. So I've got Kurtley Arendse, uh to take that fourteen jersey and Vili Leroux, who can slot in perfectly with Marnie Lebok as first receiver. Get our boys into gaps and literally just have the have the back line have a field day. Uh, moving on to the bench, and this was quite odd. Um, in that 16 jersey, now, Malcolm Marks has got stitches and stuff, so I might be inclined to give him a rest, um, but I but I put him on the team sheet for 16. Of course, Dion Fury can slot into that hooker position, but he already came out and said he doesn't like doing that. That's why it would have been perfect for the likes of a Dweba uh, to come in from the bench, uh, just take up the, the position for one game, um, have, Ma have Malcolm recover perfectly, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we decided to not go with the hooker replacement and then have Dion on the bench for in case uh, something was to happen and then if nothing was to happen, Bongi plays all the way through, Dion Furi comes on as a as a Lucy. But I do have Malcolm there. I've got Stephen Kitts of there on the bench. And then one change, I've not got Franz Malherbe there. I've, got with, I've gone with uh, the man who's played the most minutes without starting a game, Vincent Koch. I've got him on the bench. Um... In that number 18 jersey. I've gone with the 6-2 split, by the way. Um, in that 19, 20, and 21 jersey, the final three forwards on the bench. I've gone for Ergis Neyman again. Uh, I would bring him on much later because he's almost started the previous game. Uh, I think he played about 60 minutes. Um, just give him a slight break. Give him 20 minutes at the end of the game. Ergis Neyman on the bench. Uh, Dion Fury in that 20 jersey. And Peter Steff de Toy. Now, I know Peter Steff de Toy has been running himself into the ground. Uh, but off the top of my head, I can't think of somebody else. It's either going to be Peter Steff on the bench or Franco Mostert. You can, you can decide who you want to see uh, between those two. But yeah, that is the full uh, front row on the bench or forwards back on the bench. Malcolm Mark, Steven Kitzel, Vincent Koch, uh, Ergis Neyman, Dion Fury, Peter Steff de Toy. Um, and then I've got Jaden Hendrickse. As the number nine replacement. I know people want to see Grant Williams. But I think this is just the game to to give Jaden Hendricks another shot. Uh, obviously I would prefer Grant Williams. I would prefer Grant Williams to, to actually start the game. Uh, well, do I? I would prefer Corbus Reinach and Grant Williams. You, you can choose who, who you want to start. And then player 23, Damian Willems. The guy that slots in absolutely anywhere on the field. Um, he's probably going to replace... The likes of Marnie Lebok at about 60 to 70 minutes uh, give Marnie a rest. But yeah, let me know what you think about it. That is my predicted lineup, not the one that I want to see, just the prediction. Thank you. One, one,